Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November 5th to November 11th, uh, yeah, 2018. So while I'm shuffling the cards, um, I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a general reading for Leo Star Sign and it is not your personal reading. Therefore, uh, here I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. <coughs> now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a, a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Also, <clears throat> um, I want to tell you that the monthly videos for November are already out. So if you want to know uh, what is uh, what is the prospect of your star sign for the month of November, feel free to check them. They are here on this same YouTube channel. So that being said, going to the tarot spread first before we indulge ourselves into the Lenormand reading. <clears throat> and uh, we do have a four card uh, usual tarot spread uh, that I'm using. The first card here is to show us the topic for Leo's week. And we do have the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands, uh, as we all know, this is a card of struggle. <laughs> you know, in the original reader weight, we do have one standing against many, uh, holding their ground, etc., etc. We can talk a lot about the uh, scenery of the card and their symbolism, but all in all, um, the Seven of Wands does point to a, a dirty competition. <clears throat> or in other words uh, hits that you may take throughout the week uh, that uh, they come from a direction that you least expected like a close friend like a, a lover you know or a, a, a faithful companion in your career etc etc and, and it is very kind of like it is very sneaky the way that these people are doing um, those things as um, <clears throat> It is most likely it all will start with rumors, all right? It's kind of like a rumors, for example, that uh, you are doing something wrong, uh, rumors which are provenly um, wrong for you, or kind of like they are, uh, they are fallacies for you and your performance. So uh, yeah, the, the point here with the Seven of Wands is that you have to prepare yourself to intercept and sap the competition as soon as possible. As the Seven of Wands is pointing that this, uh, or the, the same property of the card, it represents that this is going to start with rather a, a petite predicament but quickly is to escalate into something almost impossible to be overcome and it will depend on your your heroic actions and strong determination to really extinguish these um, fraudulent statements from those people on your behalf additionally the seven of wands it could be uh, it could be representing some sort of a struggle like a, a test that you have to pass through either uh, outwardly or inwardly and uh, if that's the case and under test I mean something difficult that you're struggling with uh, then the timing of your actions should be uh, calculated very very carefully I mean you have to catch the very small window of opportunity you have to overcome the challenge the next card points the uh, core of the situation here. Uh, we do have the King of Swords and now that is a person that we do have. <clears throat> so we do have the competition. King of Swords, a male most likely. Uh, someone who values power over anything else. I mean for that man or for that woman, for that matter, this could be as well a woman but most likely a man. Uh, money does not mean anything. I mean it does but they are just a, a tool. They are not a goal. The real goal for that person is power and they want to knock you off your place, 
of power if I may express myself that way. So that could be a, a severe competitor for your relationship seeing that you are finding yourself happy in your relationship. That could be someone who is envying you at your, um, <clears throat> at your career and they want to knock you off that specific place. Very important to be acknowledged here when we do have this card especially as a core is that this person twists and bends through the way they like. They are very skillful with communications, they are very skillful with presenting situations and, exp and explaining um, a certain circumstances around the situations and therefore they can twist and bend the reality uh, of uh, how they are presenting it and they make it sound very genuine they make it sound like it is the way that needs to things needs to be done or it is the it, it makes it they make the, they make it sound like it is the reality itself <clears throat> so you do have someone who is very surreptitious here on your platter you do have someone who is very um sneaky and in the same time um i forgot the word excuse me guys um manipulative that you have to deal with and those manipulations those uh, fraudulent statements again needs to be intercepted straight away as soon as you see that they are arising now uh, the next card that we do have for you Leo this is to be the challenges that you need to overcome well like this was not enough here you know <laughs> but still uh, challenges which are causing predicaments here we do have the ten of cups ten of cups very positive card if it was in a, a different uh, in a different uh, position of the spread but in this particular position the ten of cups points that this uh, this person here is someone that uh, pretended to be to be a close to you i mean the um the challenge of the ten of cups is to cut your losses in that specific case to realize that uh even though you have maybe betrayed you know because it's going to be different for every single one of you maybe betrayed you still have things to work to look forward to and to work for as well and to live for so and uh, as the ten of cups is falling into that position for some of your leos uh, this could be a very despondent situation despondent to a point that you may um you know you you may even lose the uh, sense of direction or rather like the sense of meaning of why you're for example being in that relationship or why for example you are working in this company etc etc but the ten of cups here is just a challenge and it points that you you again needs to find a, a thing a, a reference point or it is just you know uh, <clears throat> something to look forward to which is going to make your life worth living once again so uh, being this point then there is no reason for it because the more you indulge yourself in the EO emotions the more advantages you give to that person which is simply um, you know they're uh, they're kind of like a lonely wolf you know they they use friendships and connections only for their personal benefits and it is simply this is the week where you are to realize that and you can look at it from a very positive standpoint as well is that uh, basically you are to make a, a spring cleaning in your social circle or in your uh, work environment here detaching yourself from a, a colleagues which simply are bitches <laughs> there is no better word to say it you know so uh, yeah pretty much this is to be a, um, a rather difficult week you know but I do believe that to a greater extent or to the um, to the great good the, the the best ending here at least at the end you are to uh, liberate yourself from people who are uh, basically using you for their personal means and at the end what we do have is the ace of pentacles or how you should proceed with the situation um, that are very strange that we do have this card here as the ace of pentacles represents uh, if it comes as a event it represents success into business harmony into relationship etc etc but in your case i do suspect that the ace of pentacles points that you need to start clinging more to all the hundred percent secure undertakings like um 
I don't know, for completely abandoning uh, the activities that that person is jeopardizing. Or at least um, rolling them back to a certain checkpoint uh, on which that person has no influence whatsoever. So you can repair and continue from there, excluding this time around the influence of that person. Same goes for your relationship. <clears throat> It's difficult to be explained, but let's say that you need to uh, turn back and kind of go back to the point where you were most stable um, in the development of your things, career or relationship wise, so you can do it other way around. So for what it seems here, uh, whatever is to happen based on, uh, based on this guy or, or a woman, it's not irreversible, it is just it needs repairing, it needs fixing, and that is of course taking a additional time. However, if you count on it, if it is something of value for you, then time should not be a problem whatsoever. So that was the tarot reading here. Now let's see what the Lenormand cards are to say for you, Leos. Let me shuffle them. Give a, a really, really good shuffle. <clears throat> all right so let's cut and see what we have now the first card that we do have this is to be the birds and the birds are standing for social media gossips what we said here that is going to um, uh, as the first most likely these uh, these challenges are to start from gossips or these influences we have gossips and also stands for phone call uh, then the next card that we do have this is to be the scythe so uh, scythe does not have a specific meaning what the scythe does is cutting the next card so it's kind of completely reversing it's uh, or kind of destroying the card that sits on the edge of the blade here and the next card that is to be the tower so we have that someone is trying to basically destroy your business through gossips gossips are to, are going to try to destroy your business and the things that are making you feel secure because this because the tower stands for government institution it stands for business in your case it stands for isolation of course this could be taken in a more positive ways you know through a social media you are to be able to cut off or render your isolation futile any longer so kind of like making wider social circle but uh, taking under consideration the tarot reading i don't think that this is the majority of the cases here so be very careful in your career path guys you do have someone who does not like you there you do have someone who does who will do whatever they can to knock you off balance at the career path so that being said, Leos, this was your uh, weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it as much as you could, you know, with uh, that prediction. But uh, hey, again, this is just a general reading for Leo Star Sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rad signing out now. See you next time. Bye.